Hey everyone, finished watching the next episode of Beetleborgs, Something Fishy. The Magnivores are tossing garbage in a nearby lake. Elsewhere, the Beetleborgs are at the beach and a monster is walking out of the water. Trip finds its footprints. Heather wonders if it's the urban legend Charterville Charlie, a half-man, half-tuna. The Magnivores spot the monster. They go to tell Vexor. The kids ask Nano and later Flabber if they know anything about Charterville Charlie. The monsters of Hillhurst all think Charlie is just a myth. Vexor, meanwhile, informs the Magnivores that Charlie is actually the Swamp Scumoid. They don't know who that is, and Vexor explains that he's from a new issue that's not out yet. Charlie attacks the kids and kidnaps Trip. He carries him to Hillhurst for some reason, and the monsters get into a fight with him. Trip gets loose and runs away. Charlie then kidnaps Mums. He breaks through the floor into a well under the house. The kids make it to Hillhurst. They're about to go help Mums, but the Magnivores release the Jet Fighters. They defeat them, and Roland heads to Zoom Comics. The new Beetleborgs issue just came in. He sees Charlie on the cover. He goes to tell the others. Flabber conjures up a giant fishing pole and hooks Mums. He pulls him up, and the kids zap Charlie back to the comics. This is an okay one. It's another kind of sorta horror movie homage, this time to Creature from the Black Lagoon. There's a couple key scenes parodied here, but that's about it. At first, it seems like an intriguing plot, an actual monster, not from the comics, a cryptid. Then it turns out it is actually a monster from the comics. I think Charlie, or Swamp Scumoid, whatever, would have been infinitely more interesting as a pre-existing monster. Maybe the ending should have had the kids or the Magnivores see another Charlie, and we learn that maybe there actually is a real Charlie. This is a pretty unimpressive episode, not super funny or creative. There is an interesting mystery that came about, though, years later. The monster costume for Charlie looks very similar to the costume of the titular monster used for the full moon film, Kra the Sea Monster. People wondered if the Charlie suit had been recycled from Kra. The podcast, Big Bad Beetle Bros, did a deep dive video extensively covering everything. I'll put a link to their video below. The short story, no, Charlie isn't a recycled Kra suit, however, both Charlie and Kra were designed and built by the same creature effects company, Total Fabrication. It's possible that a prototype Kra, or unfinished Kra, was used as a base for Charlie. Total Fabrication worked on many other Saban productions. The Charlie suit would show up bizarrely in an episode of The Drew Carey Show. The whole mystery with the Charlie suit is easily more interesting than the actual episode. That's it for this one, hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Ah! <laughs>